Welcome to the flash of Center Global News, with the most important in the union, academic, and educational field. Let's go to the information. The General Secretary of the National Union of Education Workers, teacher Alfonso Cepeda Salas, took part in Geneva, Switzerland, in the international call Less Cages, More Classrooms, about the legal detentions in the border between Mexico and the USA that splits children from their families who are being denied their human rights and education. Nosotros decimos crímenes de lesa humanidad como poner a los niños en jaulas, separarlos de sus familias. Los niños están sin ninguna protección, sin ningún respeto a sus derechos elementales. The leader of the Teachers Union, one of the greatest organization in America and the third in the world with more than two and a half million members, maintained to the European side of the United Nations that education is not an expense, but an investment. That education is a right and not a privilege. Equally important, he took a stand for inclusive schools without borders. In this context, David Edwards, leader of International of Education that gathers in 32 million members of 400 unions that belong to 172 countries around the five continents, established that this objection is about the future of millions of children and young immigrants. Meanwhile, Randy Weingarten, president of the American Federation of Teachers from the USA, demands to the United Nations Human Rights Council to hear and help on this matter. Finally, Jose Olvera from the UNAM's Workers' Union called for a suspension on policies against immigrants in a world that, besides being globalized, should be a civilized one. The main demand in Geneva, Switzerland, is only one, for the education at the service of people. All the voices, all the nations. Teresa Lopez Florian, Center News. It's all for now. Thank you for watching us and follow us from anywhere in the world. Thank you. I'm Jorge Boyoli. This was Center Global News. And right here and now, you are informed.